Operation video of yeast and mold count plate. Wear lab coat, mask, and gloves. Wipe gloves and operation table with alcohol, cotton ball. Light the alcohol burner. Wipe the packaging. Open the seal. Take out the count plates needed for test. Mark the count plates. Vibrate the diluent evenly. Pipette 1 ml sample solution and drop onto the center of the plate vertically. Cover the top film slowly, and the solution will spread automatically. Pressing plate is not required. After the solution spread is complete, transfer the plate to the culture room through the pass box. Incubate the count plate at 28 degrees with a tolerance of 1 degree. Yeast for 48 hours with 2 hours tolerance. Mold for 72 hours with 2 hours tolerance. The count plates should be stacked upwards and no more than 20 pieces during the incubation. Interpretation. After incubation, yeast colonies are small, well-defined, uniform in violet-red color. Mold colonies are large with diffuse edges. The color ranges from light pink to fuchsia. Counting range. Yeast. 10 to 150 CFU. Mold, less than 30 CFU. Important note. Yeast colonies are small, uniform in color, and the colonies show fuchsia in color. Mold colonies are large with diffuse edges. The color of the colony is not uniform and ranges from light pink to fuchsia. When the color of the whole count plate is changed, please pay attention to the colony number of the next dilution factor. In the next dilution factor, if there are obvious colonies and the number is within the optimal counting range, please count the colony number of this dilution. If there's no colony appeared, the count plate has been polluted. Precautions. When uncovering the film, do not touch the culture area of the medium. The count plate should be stacked upwards and no more than 20 pieces during the incubation. Using a marker pen or colony counter when counting. When yeast colony number is beyond the counting range, select a few small squares with representative colonies. Calculate the average colony number and multiply by 20 to get the estimated yeast colony number for the entire count plate. Keep the count plate away from ultraviolet, direct sunlight, and avoid long-time fluorescent lamp exposure. Do not use the polluted count plate. Count plate may contain microorganisms that can be a potential biohazard. Please follow relevant law and regulations for disposal. The count plate may show a few needle-like black spots, which is normal and does not affect the interpretation of the target string. After sample is added, bubbles may appear near the barrier, which may result in an incomplete diffusion of sample solution. This is a normal phenomenon and does not affect the test results.